Nemo did pretty good. Anna did not suspect a thing. She was getting herself some sort of red drink. Then she left and went back to Maggie's place with Nemo quietly following without being detected. Anna left the door open and she was about to close it, but Nemo got in there and was crawling on top of the ceiling. Anna did not notice anything. There seems to be a meeting going on. Nemo swiftly went over to the ceiling above them. Then he slowly crept over to the upper wall so he can hear a better look. They were talking about something. They were talking about how to find out more about where Rugaru was and maybe take him down. Then Maggie sets out the examples of who was going to go where. Once that was confirmed, everyone seemed pleased of their roles. But then Nemo cried out, Oh no, you're not going anywhere. Nobody is. Nemo said. Everyone could hear Nemo's voice and looked up. They couldn't believe it. That was the kid from Glass Coffin. Nemo glared down at Rogue. Stop right there, Shadow Man. He jumped down, but then Rogue managed to get away. Rogue, hurry, we gotta get away, Frosh said. I know, come on. Rogue said, if we can get away from him, maybe he will find us. You can't escape from me, Shadow Man. Hey, what's your deal? Lecter called out. Nemo gave him a death glare. Stay out of this. Huh? Lector was shaking all over. Sting came over and put a hand on him. Hey, what's wrong, buddy? His eyes really scare me. And the way his voice... Oh. Sting, what is wrong with this guy? Why is he so obsessed with going after Rogue? Wonder Lector, I don't know. I don't know what the heck Rogue did to him. Sting wondered. Rogue and Frosh were trying to escape from Nemo, but Nemo was right behind. Rogue tried to hide, but there was no way that Nemo would ever notice, but he did. You can run, but you can't hide from me forever. Nemo called out. Rogue didn't understand. What was this guy's problem? What's he doing? What does he want? Frost whispered. Shh, Frost. Keep it down, okay? If he finds us, we're dead. He warned. Frost immediately shut up. He was really scared. Nemo looked around. Then, Rogue turned to his buddy and said, Take a deep breath. Frosh did what his master told him, and then Shadow vanished with his shadow powers. But Nemo could detect that. Come on out, I know you're hiding somewhere here. You can't escape me, coward. What do you want from me? Rogue called out. Oh, it's you. You. Why? Why? Nemo cried out. To Rogue. Rogue was confused, but then he realized, is it because I saved you? Wait, why are you getting upset? You should be happy that I saved you. Why do you want me to be happy? I'm not 
mad, Happy. I'm mad. You should have let me to die. Nemo cried out. Rogue then said, You're a kid. Why the hell would you do that to yourself? He said, Those words were so familiar. It gave some sort of meaning. I let you be rescued because I know what I saw. You killed them because they killed someone and that animal that you rescued. Isn't it? Rogue asked. Nemo nodded. Yeah. I, I never had a pet. If if it was still alive, I would have taken it back to Glass Coffin and maybe ask Frigga if I could keep it. Like, I'll feed it up. I mean, unlike some people, unlike some people, some kids, they got to play ball play with their dollies, play with their friends, do normal things that kids would do. Me? I was forced to kill innocent people, so I killed people who play with dollies and play ball and stuff. I never got to experience that. I never did, Nemo said tearfully. Rogue looked at him. He somehow sympathized him. It's okay. Then Rogue appeared. But listen, if you ever do that again, I'll be having no choice but to restrain you from hurting yourself. Do I make myself clear? Rogue said. Nemo nodded. Yeah. Thank you for saving me. Once things got already settled out,